him running had nothing to do with him being shot on the ground. He wasn't shot running. He wasn't shot standing up. He was shot on the ground, complying. A mother is demanding answers after she says her son was shot by a Jefferson Parish deputy. Good evening and thanks for watching. I'm Sharice Gibson. And I'm Katie Moore. It was a shooting that happened three months ago, but it hasn't come to light until tonight. As Mike McDaniel reports, Sheriff Joe Lapinto acknowledges an investigation is underway, but says he legally can't say much else about the case. That's why I feel blessed every day, and that's why I am blessed every day. That's why I thank God for every day. Tiffany McGee is thankful her 14-year-old son, Tramal, is alive after what she says was a violent encounter with a Jefferson Parish deputy. It happened March 20th near the intersection of the West Bank Expressway and Central Avenue in West Wego. McGee says her son was riding with friends in a car, unaware the car was stolen. When deputies began following, McGee says the driver pulled over and everyone got out and started running. McGee says when several deputies caught up with her son, he stopped and complied with orders to lie down on the ground. He's 14 years old. I can only imagine what his mental, mind, his mental state was like at that time. A short while later, McGee says her son, who was unarmed, felt a gunshot. All he knows is his body went numb after the shot. I said, well, son, who shot you? He said, it was a police officer. I said, where were you when he shot you? He said, I was on the ground, hands behind my back. McGee says the bullet first hit her son's back near his left shoulder before going through his arm. He was treated at a hospital and then sent to juvenile detention before being released to his mom. Didn't do it. Three months You're later, McGee says why? she's still getting no That's answers from the saying. sheriff's office. You're trying to figure out a way of why justifying the fact you shot a minor in the back. We're looking for the truth like everybody else. Sheriff Joe Lapinto says state law protecting juveniles prevents him from talking about the case, but confirms an investigation is happening. And I know people are looking for answers. They're always looking for answers. Um, but we have a process that is in place. Are you able to say how this child was shot? No, I'm not. Uh, you know, I'm not able to give any. I can't even identify the child, the circumstances behind it or anything. He's a kid, a, a, a kid that posed no threat to law enforcement. Attorney Ron Haley is now representing the McGee family. We want the officers that were participating in this, the officer that shot him, to be held accountable. Haley also wants to know why the shooting was never made public. Sheriff Lapinto says because the case involves a juvenile charged with a crime, he is legally prohibited from talking about it. I was out there on the scene. The facts of it are no media reported on it that particular night, and because it's a juvenile record, uh, there is not going to be a report from us. I want him to just take, take responsibility on what you did. Look me in my eyes and just give me a good reason on why. You was that scared? You was that much of a coward of someone laying on the ground and arm? McGee says her son was initially charged with illegal possession of stolen things and resisting arrest, but the possession charge was recently dropped. Attorneys are now asking the state attorney general's office to get involved. Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News. Attorneys representing the McGee family, they're also representing the family of Modesto Reyes, who shot and was shot and killed by a Jefferson Parish deputy last month. A news conference to talk about both cases is set for tomorrow morning.